possible. Yes. 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 Mm. If we want to become effective and efficient, we must have the seven habits while doing business or uh, personally also. So <coughs> my goal is to uh, let make you understand the seven habits. What are the seven habits as far as BNI uh, is concerned? Right. So. One habit is patience also, by the way. Yes. <laughs> so good, good morning once again. Good morning. Let us know seven habits of highly effective people. Habit one is be proactive. Right. Let us respond to situation. Right. Let us not react. Right. And once we respond, that is we are predict that something is going to happen and we are, we are ready with the pros and cons of the situation. <coughs> as far as BNI is concerned, we need to plan these activities. And what we need to plan? We need to plan one to ones, most important. Time is important, so is the time of our fellow member, and we need to ensure that the slot is booked for one to one. What to do in one to one? I have given you uh, heads up in earlier trainings. Invitations you need to invite visitors, right, so that they are available for giving us energy. Eight minute presentations we need to plan this. Boost the 30 seconds. Substitute, right. Substitute, you need to work on substitute so that you don't get any nasty surprises when, when some urgency is there. Habit number two is begin with end in mind. What is that? That is set targets and work towards the target. Right? End is the target. Right? So you also need to plan for getting referrals. Right? And for getting referrals, you need to start giving referrals. So you need to have targets for giving referrals, getting referrals, amount of business you need to came from BNI in a particular year. You need to build your sales team, right? Everybody standing, sitting here in this room is your advocate, right? If somebody asks me about some cleaning products, without hesitation, I'll, I'll say Suraj, contact Suraj Weber and he'll, he'll get. Few persons sitting here are promoter and very few person sitting here is creator. What is creator? Creator is the person sitting here who can create opportunities for you. Right, so it's our duty to ensure that we promote everybody from advocator to promoter to creator. You are with me? Yes. 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 Habit number three is put first things first. In simple language, it is called as prioritize. Right. Now, uh, Nilesh sir, uh, let, let's take an example. You are sitting here and you are one of the important uh, customer calls. What what you will do? You will attend him, right? Yes. Right. And if one of the BNI fellow member calls, right, your customer is only one customer, but your BNI fellow is having potential of 10 customers, right? So you need to have priorities set for your BNI targets. BNI target by COB, right? Generally, it happens that during our day to day work, we keep on postponing the BNI. Uh, targets what we have set for the day, but we ensure that by close of business we complete the BNI target set by us only. Habit number four is think win win. I think we are pretty good at that. It is givers game. Set target for getting thank you notes. Right now, uh, in our power team, we have set target for you know, Uday sir, Niraj sir, uh, Abhijit sir, we have set target for everybody. <coughs> to get thank you notes from, so that they get business and I get a thank you note. Building connection, referral follow, sorry, and referral follow by means, referral not issued by me, referrals I have given to somebody. It's my, it's also my duty and it's also my responsibility so that he gets a business. Knowledge sharing, whatever knowledge you are having, you need to share in this forum or while doing one to one or while doing, uh, you know, casual meetings, we need to share the knowledge so that his situation improves. Habit 5 seek first to understand and then to be understood. Right? We have two ears and one mouth. Right? The God has made us that way. We need to listen more, we need to understand more, 
so that we can pitch ourselves accordingly after we understand. Let the guest speak first. It's a customer in one to one format. So whoever has come for the meeting, he has to speak first. It's so that, see, another benefit of uh, this also, you know what correction he is having. And after that, you can pitch your business accordingly so that you, get, you can get so, uh, good business. Habit number six is synergize, that is teamwork. Participate in the activities and targets of BNI. Take help and give help. Don't hesitate for taking help. Right? Throw the problem open to the forum. We are all friends sitting here. So, you don't know what skill set everybody is having among us. So, take help and give help also. <coughs> teamwork is dream work. Do you agree with this? Yes. <laughs> Last but not the least is sharpen the saw. Right, and we are having excellent system of training here. Our training coordinator, Mr. Chetan is here. Right, he keeps on reminding us every week what is what are the trainings plan for this month and so. So, this is sharpening the saw. One to one conclusions we are having. Power visits. Right. These are the methods of sharpening your saw in BNI. So, the summary be proactive, begin with end in mind, put first thing first, think win win, seek first to understand, then to be understood, synergize, and sharpen the saw. Thank you. <laughs>